Discover the Sabbath truth. Why keep the Sabbath day? What is the object of the Sabbath? Who made it? When was it made and for whom? Which day is the true Sabbath? Many keep the first day of the week or Sunday. What Bible authority are they for this? Some keep the seventh day or Saturday. What scripture are they for that? Here are the facts about the Sabbath. After working six days of the week in creating this earth, the great God rested on the seventh day. Genesis 2 verse 1 to 3. This stunned that day as God's rest day or Sabbath day. A Sabbath day means rest day. To illustrate when a person is born on a certain day, that day thus becomes his birthday. So when God rested upon the seventh day, that day became his rest or Sabbath day. Therefore, the seventh day must always be God's Sabbath day. Can you change your birthday from the day on which you are born to another on which you are not born? No. Neither can you change God's rest day to a day in which he did not rest. Hence, the seventh day is still God's Sabbath day. The Creator blessed the seventh day. Genesis 2 verse 3. He sanctified the seventh day. Exodus 20 verse 11. He made it the Sabbath day in the Garden of Eden. Genesis 2 1 to 3. It was made before the fall, hence it is not a type, for types were not introduced till after the fall. Jesus says it was made for man, Mark 2.27. That is for the race, as the word man is here unlimited, hence for the Gentiles as well as for the Jew. It is a memorial of creation. Exodus 20, 11. Every time we rest upon the seventh day as God did at creation, we commemorate that grand event. It was given to Adam, the head of the human race, Mark 2, 27 and Genesis 1 to 3. Hence through him, as our representative to all nations, Acts 17, 26. It is not the Jewish institution, for it was made 2,300 years before ever there was a Jew. The Bible never calls it the Jewish Sabbath, but always the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It was a part of God's law before Sinai. Then God placed it in the heart of his moral law, Exodus 20, verse 1 to 17. Why did he place it there if it was not like the other nine precepts which all admit to be immutable? The seventh day Sabbath was commanded by the voice of the living God in Deuteronomy 4, verse 12 and 13. Then he wrote the commandment with his own finger, Exodus 31, 18. He, God, engraved it in the enduring stone, indicating its imperishable nature. Deuteronomy 5.22 It was sacredly preserved in the ark in the Holy of Holies. Deuteronomy 10.1-5 God forbade work upon the Sabbath, even in the most harrowing times. Exodus 34.21 God destroyed the Israelites in the wilderness because they profaned the Sabbath. Ezekiel 20, 12 and 13. It is the sign of the true God by which we are to know him from false gods. Ezekiel 20, verse 20. God promised that Jerusalem should stand forever if the Jews could keep the Sabbath. Jeremiah 17, 24 to 25. He sent them into Babylonian captivity for breaking it, or for breaking the Sabbath. 
Nehemiah 13 verse 18 He destroyed Jerusalem for its violation Jeremiah 17:27 God has promised a special blessing on all the Gentiles who will keep the Sabbath Isaiah 56 6 and 7 This is the prophecy which refers wholly to the Christian dispensation Isaiah 56 God has promised to bless all who keep the Sabbath Isaiah 56 2 the Lord requires us to call it honorable Isaiah 58 13 after the holy Sabbath has been trodden down many generations it is to be restored in the last days Isaiah 58 verse 12 and 13 all the holy prophets kept the Sabbath day when the Son of God came, he kept the Sabbath day all his life. Luke 4, 16. Thus he followed his Father's example at creation. Shall we not be safe in following the example of both the Father and the Son? The seventh day is the Lord's day. Revelation 1, verse 10. Jesus was Lord of the Sabbath and he is still the Lord of the Sabbath, Mark 2, 28. That is, to love and protect it, as the husband is the Lord of the wife to love and cherish her. Jesus vindicated the Sabbath as a merciful institution designed for man's good, Mark 2, 23-28. Instead of abolishing the Sabbath, he carefully taught how it should be observed. Matthew 12, 1 to 13. Jesus taught his disciples that they should do nothing upon the Sabbath day but what was lawful. Matthew 12, 12. Jesus instructed his apostles that the Sabbath should be prayerfully regarded 40 years after his resurrection. Matthew 24, 20. The pious women who had been with Jesus carefully kept the seventh day after Jesus' death. Luke 23, 56. Thirty years after Christ's resurrection, the Holy Spirit expressly calls it the Sabbath day. Acts 13, 14. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, calls it the Sabbath day in Acts 13 and verse 27. Luke calls it the Sabbath day in Acts 13, 44. The Gentile converts called it the Sabbath, Acts 13, 42. In the Great Christian Council, AD 49, the presence of the apostles and thousands of disciples, James calls it the Sabbath day, Acts 15, 21. It was customary to hold prayer meetings upon the Sabbath day, Acts 16, 13. Paul read the scriptures in public meetings on the Sabbath day, Acts 17, 2 and 3. It was his custom, Paul's custom, to preach upon the Sabbath day, Acts 17, 2 and 3. There was never any dispute between Christians and the Jews about the Sabbath day, this is a proof that Christians still observe the same day the Jews did. In all their accusations against Paul, they never charged him with disregarding the Sabbath day. Why did they not, if he did not keep it? The Sabbath is mentioned in the New Testament over 56 times and always with respect, bearing the same title it had in the Old Testament, the Sabbath day. Not a word is said anywhere in the New Testament about the Sabbaths being abolished, done away, changed, or anything of the kind. God has never given permission to any man to work upon it. No Christian of the New Testament, either before or after resurrection, ever did ordinary work upon the seventh day. There is no record that God has ever removed his blessings or sanctification from the seventh day. As the Sabbath was kept in Eden before the fall, 
so it will be observed eternally in the new earth after restitution. Isaiah 66, 22 and 23 The seven-day Sabbath was an important part of the law of God, as it came from his own mouth and was written by his own finger upon stone at Sinai. When Jesus began his work, he expressly declared that he had not come to destroy the law in Matthew 5, 17. Jesus severely condemned the Pharisees as hypocrites for pretending to love God while at the same time they made void one of the Ten Commandments by their tradition. The keeping of Sunday is only a tradition of men. Do you keep the Sabbath? There are much blessings upon keeping the Sabbath day holy. The Bible says, remember to keep the Sabbath holy, and yet many are forgotten.